Hi, it's Miss Grace, and I have a story for you today. Today is March 18th, 2020, and I just wanted to share a little book with you that will help you realize that no matter what you think about some people, not all people have those same traits. So I'm going to read Miss Spider's Tea Party, and you know that I love anything about tea and etiquette, so let's see what Miss Spider has to say about having tea with friends. This is written by David Kirk, and he did all the paintings and the verse. And here's the title page. Beautiful illustrations. Enjoy the pictures while I read you the text. One lonely spider sipped her tea while gazing at the sky. She watched the insects on the leaves and many flying by. If I had friends like these, she sighed, who'd stay a while with me? I'd sit with them down on silken chairs and serve them cakes and tea. I think she'd throw a lovely party, don't you? Let's see who she's going to invite. Two timid beetles, Ike and May, crept from the woodwork that same day. But when Miss Spider begged, please stay, they shrieked, oh no, and dashed away. I'm going to take the book cover off so it doesn't get in my way. Three fireflies through, flew inside that night, their spirits high, their tails alight. They spied the web and squeaked in fear. We'd better get away from here. The little trio did not feel they'd care to be a spider's meal. Well, we all know what happens when spiders make a web that they catch their prey and they were afraid that was going to happen to them. I wonder if all spiders are the same and would do that to these friends. Oh, here's some of my friends. I love bees that are pollinators and help our gardens grow. Four bumblebees buzzed by outside. Please come to tea, Miss Spider cried. The four ignored her swaying there. She waved a tea towel in the air. She took a cup and tapped the glass. Then one bee spoke to her at last. We would be fools to take our tea with anyone so spidery. Hmm. Wonder how she's feeling about that. Within the shadows of the room, just peeking from behind a broom, Five grinning faces bobbed and peered. Miss Spider smiled. Her heart was cheered. Descending for a closer look, she danced into the gloomy nook, but sadly found those jolly mugs belonged, alas, to rubber bugs. She was fooled. She thought she had some friends, but they were just rubber bugs. Who's coming next? Can you think of other insects that might be coming? Here are some ants. Some ants strode in. They numbered six, but ants with spiders will not mix. She brewed them tea from hips of roses. The proud platoon turned up their noses. Mmm, that wasn't very kind, was it? She's trying so hard to be pleasant and to be friends with these insects. A fine bouquet concealed its prize of seven dainty butterflies. Miss Spider, watching from the wall, was not aware of them at all. Do you notice that they're mentioning some numbers every time? I just love these illustrations that the author also created. Oh, here's a nice looking table. Miss Grace loves a pretty table. 
The tea table was set for eight with saucers, cups, and silver plate. The cakes were fresh, the service gleamed, yet no one would arrive, it seemed. Her company in no demand left her a cup for every hand. That's a little joke. You know how many legs a spider has, right? Eight. So she had a cup for every one of her hands. Here's a new insect. Nine spotted moths kept safe and warm in shelter from a thunderstorm. They stood beneath an open sash and watched the jagged lightning flash. Miss Spider dropped down on a thread, a silver tray above her head. She'd hoped to please them, but instead, I bet you can guess what happens. Let's see if you're right. They flew away in mortal dread. That means they were scared to death. Poor Miss Spider. Look at her expression, children. They've left me all alone, she cried. She dabbed her eyes and sadly sighed. It's plain no bug will ever stay. Her tears splashed down upon the tray. Whatever will she do for friends? We're all feeling a little bit lonely, I bet, aren't we? Because we have to be in our houses. Well, let's see what else happens. Ten tiny steaming cups of tea were perched atop her trembling knee. She sipped and sobbed, then heard a cough and turned to see a small wet moth. A fragile thing, so soaked by rain, his wings too damp to fly again. A wet moth. Whatever is going to happen? She smiled and took a checkered cloth to cloak the frail and thankful moth. They talked and snacked on tea and pie until his tiny wings were dry. Then lifting him with tender care, she tossed him gently in the air. I wonder if word's going to get out. Let's see what happens. The moth told Ike, then Ike told May, who went from bug to bug to say, there's no reason for alarm. She's never meant us any harm. So later on that afternoon, assembled in the dining room, 11 insects came to tea to share Miss Spider's courtesy. Look how much fun they were having when they were telling each other about the good news. We can do that. We can share positive messages about people and events. My mother used to say to me, if you can't say something nice, don't say anything at all. Oh, look. Twelve tender violets in a vase presented at Miss Spider's place, set by her chair so neatly spun, she munched the blossoms one by one. Her friends were glad to watch her feast upon the floral centerpiece. It was a great relief to see. She ate just flowers and drank just tea. Miss Spider's reputation grew. Before too long, our hostess knew each bug who crawled or hopped or flew and all their lovely children too. And look at everybody who came back to visit Miss Spider. She wasn't after the insects at all. She loved to eat some flowers and drink some tea. She'll be remembered because she was kind. How will you be remembered? Have a wonderful rest of your day.